How's it going shoppers? Today we're gonna to be looking at some extremely heavy Instacart orders. If you guys didn't know, Instacart originally started out as a platform where you would just grocery shop for someone and maybe grab 20 to 30 items and go deliver it. Easy peasy, your back is still intact, your car suspension, still good. Lately, companies have been finding out about Instacart and they are looking to cut costs by using Instacart instead of companies like Cisco that usually are the provider for bulk groceries, like ordering 50 waters for people that have a business in like the restaurant industry. But there's some huge differences. When you guys order through a freight hauling company, they charge you a lot more because they have to deliver it in a big box truck. But the Instacart shoppers that have been doing these orders are usually in a Toyota Prius. And I think you see the dilemma with that. Box truck versus Prius basically the same order. Without any further ado, let's take a look at some of these beautiful orders. All right, so we're gonna be starting off hot with uh, these 40 packs of water. They want 15 of those. Each one is about 40 pounds, so uh, do the math there, that's a lot of weight. And this isn't even close to the heaviest one. Down below, I mean, you got 25 pounds of apples. That's doable, easy. But then uh, 10 Gatorades, that's heavy. Just a bunch of really heavy stuff. Just imagine trying to fit all that in your car, along with those big boxes down there. like. That's gonna be a struggle. All right, next up, guarantee you this is a restaurant. And uh, the best part, no tip. No tip, no problem. Just kidding. But yeah, they want like 100 things of lemonade and 24 gallons of milk. And uh, yeah, it's 124 units. That is, that is a crazy amount. But it gets crazier, I'm telling you. If you think 24 things of milk is crazy, just wait, just wait. All right, this was an order that I actually saw the other day. And uh, you can't see it all. There was like three or four waters as well. Uh, just a ton of soda, like literally approaching like 2000 pounds, I bet. By the time you finish this order, I actually took this order and had to cancel it because it wouldn't fit in my car. All right, this is a great one. This is my milk order. And I actually like shopping this order because it's really easy. It's not that heavy, but usually they want like 80 gallons of milk. I've done this order several times now. It always pays very well and the people are extremely nice and help me unload it. This is literally the only company I would do this for. It's still a crazy order. Oh yeah, and then we got the thousand pound order. A lot of you guys were questioning how this was a thousand pounds but trust me I did the math if you guys thought this was heavy though just wait all right this is uh the best order yet so this is a, a once again no tip order they got the heavy pay on there probably only a couple bucks that is actually 2,000 pounds of water right there and then if you add all the sodas and Capri Suns up, you're getting close to 3,000 pounds. I have no idea why people think that this is okay because you literally need a box truck for something like that. That or you're gonna be taking like three trips to and back all for $17 and no tip. Companies are using us to get stuff for cheaper. Just keep that in mind. There's not many freight hauling companies that would do that for the same price that they're getting it through Instacart. And uh, yeah, I think something needs to be fixed. I have no idea what the solution is to this. I feel like it would be interesting to have an option where you can take heavy orders or you could just take it off. So you don't even see them. So you don't accidentally take these orders that weigh tons. I also wish that the heavy pay was more significant on orders like that where you're delivering over a thousand pounds. I think the heavy pay needs to be increased because you're definitely risking damaging your car. Let me know what you guys think about these orders down below. I'd be really curious to see what you guys think the solution could be for something like this. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and I'll see you guys on the next video.